Hello and welcome to Sandomierz in Poland for the Europe's Strongest Man competition 2003. This thousand-year-old town in southeast Poland, under the guidance of the governing body IFSA, has invited the eight strongest men from around Europe to compete. Reigning European champion Marius Podzanowski is back again, and since last year's competition, he's added the crown of the world's strongest man to his extensive list of titles. Here are the competitors. Bernd Kirschbaumer, 38, from Austria. He's the Austrian champion. Jarno Hams from the Netherlands, 2002 champion of Holland. Sven Carlsen, Europe's strongest man in 2001. That year, he had a great year. He also won the world's strongest man title. Jarek Dimmick from Poland. Well, he's always had to play the bridesmaid to Marius's uh, bride and he was second last year in Europe's Strongest Man. Perhaps he can go one better this year. Zydrunas Saviskas, another man who knows second. He was second in World's Strongest Man in 2002 in Malaysia. Anders Johansson of Sweden, just 28, turned from powerlifting. He's a very good up-and-coming strongman, still living in the shadow of Magnus Samuelsson, however. Raymond Spurgmanis of Latvia, many times Baltic champion, three times an Olympic weightlifter at the Olympics. But here is the man, Marius Pudzanowski, the dominator as he's known in Poland. He's the world's strongest man at the moment and he's the current European strongest man title holder. Here are referees, there's Ilka Kinnanen. Former World's Strongest Man competitor, Jamie Reeves at the end there of the line. Of course, World's Strongest Man in 1989. Couple other referees. We have Lezek Kedzia of Poland and Kreutzhoff Dalienski, also of Poland. So there's Marius. What a lineup of athletes. The absolute creme de la creme of Polish strongmen. So to the first event then, the power stairs. Zydrunas Saviskas of Lithuania up against Raymond Spurgmanis of Latvia. An absolute classic Baltic clash here. And these guys from the Baltic states really have come on in leaps and bounds. Second and third, respectively, in last year's World's Strongest Man competition. Zydrunas Savikas there taking second place. So this, the power stairs, 225 kilos, then 250 kilos, and finally finishing off with 280 kilograms. Bergmanis in the lead there on the left. Great start by him. Unbelievably heavy, though. I can't believe 280 kilos will even make it up here. I've never seen a power stairs finishing off with such a heavy weight. Zafikas so catching. Goodness me, he's going to beat Bergmanis right at the end there. Fantastic result for Zavikas. Times there, 40.97 for Zavikas, 41.97 for Bergmanis. And I have to say it, didn't look like Zavikas' weight was entirely on at the top. Perhaps the rules in Poland, slightly different from standard IFSA rules, though. So, referee Jamie Reeves sending the athletes off. Jarno Hams on the left, Jarek Dimmick on the right. Check out the Spice Girl boots on both of these guys. Dimmick, he really needs them at only about 1 meter 83, 1 meter 82. Slightly shorter than the other guys. Jarno Hams up at about 1 meter 90 though. But any advantage you can get, look at how fast Dimmick it is. Unbelievably explosive. Now he's chasing the time of 40.97 by Zavikas. And looks like he could do that. Wow, he's really slowed up, though. Bergmanis, 41.97. So Dimmick knows what he's got to chase. He's not going to beat either of those gentlemen. Well, he might not complete this at all. Dimmick really struggling now. And Jarno Hams is a tortoise and hare competition. Hams finishing off there. Excellent time. 58.69 given for Hams. Yarek Dimmick getting the full time. 75 seconds. Only a couple of seconds left. Can he finish it? 
I don't think so. I think they're going to give him, well, I count that as 14 steps. There's three sets of five, so for Dimmick, a bad start for him. He is the vice champion of Europe at the moment, finishing second last year. A strong man. It's funny how it's sort of shifted around the continent. Back in the day, it was only Scandinavia. For 10 years, the World's Strongest Man title went to Scandinavia, Sven Carlsen being the last of those men. And now, with Marius Podzanowski in 2002 winning that title, it's sort of shifted down to the Baltic area. Zavikis, Bergmanis, all these guys so strong. And another man that Eurosport hasn't seen yet is uh, Vidas Blakaitis. That's a man who no doubt you'll see a lot more of. And he's the Baltic champion now for two years in a row. Well, Sven Carlsen racing off very well here against Marius Podzanowski. Podzanowski always going to win this kind of event unless something goes wrong. Sven with the blonde hair, world's strongest man in 2001. Now 36 years old. Well, Marius finishing off in a great time there. 34.26 seconds. The dominator, as he's known in Poland. Certainly dominating this event. Sven stuck there on the 12th step Head up. Go. Head up. Marius's English is limited but great friends with Sven Carlson him Yarek and Sven training partners throughout the year and just leading up to this competition Sven spent a couple of weeks with Yarek touring around doing a lot of demonstrations big big sport in Poland they really love it there you can see how many fans have turned up to watch so Marius he's the winner of the first event Zadrunas Savikas and Bergmanis that first heat of athletes very good there but Carlson that's a bit of a disaster 12 steps he shares last place Out of the frying pan and into the fire for Sven Carlsen then. He had to go first in the Conan Circle, finishing last in the first event. Now Sven, so hit and miss at this kind of event. Sometimes unbeatable. Other times, he just seems to faint early on. 652 degrees, well, that's just over one and three quarter times around. Weight, 390 kilos in the basket. Now, of course, the biomechanics of it about another meter down the arm so probably around 300 kilos the athletes are holding here that's around uh, well certainly close to 700 pounds Bernd Kirschbaumer distance given for him was only 15 degrees that was a pick up and faint straight away now you're not allowed to put this down and pick it up again that's one of the major rules and you can see just how slippy it's becoming there outside the castle and Yarek Dimmick, not a great result for him either. 547 degrees, that gives him just over one and a half turn. And looks like Sven Carlsen's result is not such a bad one. I'm ready. Ready? Anders Johansson then, 28-year-old Swede. Mechanical engineer from the north of Sweden. As I said, has had to live in the shadow of Magnus Samuelsson now for so long. Samuelsson dominating that Swedish scene but Johansson what a deadlift this man has he broke the world record from deadlift from the knees 452 and a half kilograms just recently and look at this what a battle by Johansson it's gonna be close to Sven 637 Sven 652 so he goes into second position at the moment and next up will be Jarno Hams of the Netherlands Ray! Well, it's like Beauty and the Beast here in Poland. When you're ready, Arno. Let's go. Ham's always psyched up. Gives 100%. You can see how slippy it is underfoot, though. Drying up a little from when Sven went. When Sven went, it really was dangerous. Absolute driving rain here in Poland. I'm just amazed the crowd has stayed to watch. Just love their strong man. Jarno, well, collapsing. 495 degrees. That's short of one and a half turns. 
So Sven still in first comfortably, but we've got some great men in the Conan circle coming up soon. Ramus Bergmanis and Zvikas, and of course, Marius Pozanowski, the man with the world record in Conan's wheel. To give you an idea of last year, they did this very event in Europe's Strongest Man with this equipment. Carlsen managed 1,125 degrees then. So the weather definitely taking an effect. Now Bergmanis, watch this man. Always fainting in this event. Gives 100% every time. Such a tough customer. 652 to beat then by Bergmanis. And he's definitely gone ahead of that. 817 degrees. Great result then for the Latvian. And I'm sure his wife will love that back in Riga. Raymond's an absolute gentleman on the scene. One of the most popular men. Zadrunas Zaviskas won the Arnold Classic last year in Columbus, Ohio. That day he walked away with a Humvee and $40,000. You take that back to Lithuania and convert it, it's a whole lot of money doing a great living out of strongman at the moment, Zavikas. 450 degrees there. Worse than Hams, Johansson Dimmick only beating Bernd Kirschbaumer, so not a good result at all for Zavikas. And that leaves one man to come out then, Marius Podzanowski, the dominator. One of his favorite events, his world record, 1,380. But Marius, known to conserve his energy in competition. Once he's done 817 degrees to beat Bergmanis, if, of course, he makes that, then I'd be surprised he carries on. Look at that face. Barely out of breath. Undoubtedly the fittest athlete and strongman today trains four to five hours a day what a man and he's done that he's beaten Bergmanis no problem there over oh he's walking backwards what a showman that's over 900 degrees that's all for the first two events join us after the break Warner Brothers presents a man. You're a con man? Con artist. His partner. You good to go? Is a poke poo in the woods? His daughter. Are you ready for this? I was born ready. <laughs> Their job today? To take people's money. No, no, no. They give me <clears throat> their money. Academy Award winner Nicolas Cage, Sam Rockwell, Alison Lohman in a Ridley Scott film. Matchstick Men. You looking for something, sucker? in motion. Fragrance from Hugo Boss. <laughs> Ever heard of Hamilton in Canada? You have now. It's the venue for the World Cycling Championships. The season's last hurrah. 750 competitors from 50 countries in a total of 10 races. A week on wheels and we'll be there. The Cycling World Championships on Eurosport starting Tuesday at 2000 live from you know where. Greatest Stein Tires, designed to protect you. Welcome back to Euros Europe's Strongest Man Competition 2003 here in Sandomierz in Poland. Pudzanowski from Poland in the lead. He's taken maximum points from the first two events. Ramus Bergmanis fighting hard in second position. Look at Jarek Divik down there in seventh, struggling. He was second last year in the Europe's Strongest Man competition. All you people in Europe, you better watch Strongman Sports on Eurosport. Yeah! Jona Hams from the Netherlands telling you how it is. 
and the Atlas Stones is event number three. 120 kilos, the first stone up to 160 kilos, the last stone. Bernd Kirschbaumer not having a great day so far. He goes first after coming last in the Conan Circle. Bernd managing just three stones in 34.14 seconds. Very slippy though, the conditions, as you can see, wet. And that not very conducive to great stone lifting. Sudrunas Saviskis, he was next. First man to do four stones, and what a time he did it in 19.64 seconds. Very quick indeed, but that fifth stone just looked rooted to the ground. Jarno Hams, a very hit and miss character in the stones at the Holland Super Series. The competition, the competitions rather, that decide the world champion. What woeful stone lifting he did there, but today, four stones in 28.47 seconds, a much better feat of strength. Jarek Dimmick of Poland then, up next. Very popular character here in Poland. PE teacher, physical education teacher, before he turned to full-time strongman now, working as a professional strongman throughout the year doing shows demonstrations and of course many many competitions so he's nailed up the first three stones he's trying to beat Zavikas 19.64 seconds for the four he hasn't done that so he needs this fifth stone his time just over 20 seconds oh he's got it up to his knees certainly the best attempt we've seen at the fifth stone so far No, it's not going to go up today. All the sticky stuff in the world isn't going to get that up, Yarek. You can see he's got tacky all over the back of his arms, but it's just too wet. He can't get a grip of that stone. He's called it a day. Or has he? Well, Marius Podzanowski, his training partner, coming in, egging him on. My Polish not very good, but no doubt he's saying just too slippy. I know for a fact Dimmick and training can do these stones, so the wet weather causing many problems. Next out then will be the Swede Anders Johansson. Well, his stones have been excellent. But on occasion, such as in the Canada Super Series, absolutely terrible. Couldn't even get up the first stone. It just depends really on the height of the barrels for this man, Johansson. Not the tallest, under 1 meter 80. Well, he's got four up very quickly. 18.37 seconds. Quick indeed, he's into the lead. Can he get up the fifth stone? You can see all that sticky on the backs of his forearms. Once the biceps and pectorals start to tire, you need that sticky on your skin to try and help you lift the stones up. Stone number five is proving to be an impossible task here in Poland. Only 160 kilos, well, I say only, obviously very heavy, but for some of these strong men, it's a lightweight considering they're deadlifting near 400 kilos on a bar off the ground. It's the circumference that causes such problems. These stones very, very wide. Hard to grip. So Anders gives up, but he's in the lead. Sven Carlsen, then the next competitor. Sven, once world record holder in the stones before Magnus Samuelsson came along and stole that off of him. Sven, a great athlete, getting the first one up quickly. Well, the microphone on his belt's fallen out. Doesn't seem to be bothering him at the moment. Can he get that third stone up? Oh, it slipped. The microphone causing him all kinds of problems there, getting involved in his arms. Oh, what's wrong with Sven here? Can he get it up? Oh, so close. 
so close. Will he get it? Four stones at the moment in 24.32 seconds. Oh, how disappointing. The Vikings so close to lifting it there. Just the box moving a little bit. Yeah, give that box a kick, Sven. That's a good workman blaming his tools there. But Sven really one of the champions at Atlas Stones. And if he can't do all five stones, who can? Well, I think he said something in Norwegian and then said the box moved, so... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Get ready and go straight away. Referee Jamie Reeves having a little world with Sven, offering him a second chance. So my decision that he gets a rerun and he goes again. Half minute. Half minute. So for Sven, he gets a second go at it, but well, you can only imagine the kind of lactic acid that's built up, and look at his arms cut to ribbons already by these stones so abrasive tearing the skin off your forearms when you lift them I remember a funny story Forbes Cowan used to have forearm tattoos right the way down the inside and those after years of strength competitions lifting stones got rubbed off well here he goes second time lucky this is fast Three stones going very well, and the box is remaining in position. You've got two Polish helpers there trying to keep it back. Come on, Sven, get that fourth one up. Excellent result then. Four stones in 24.32 seconds. Now, the first result is nullified, does not exist, because he's accepted to go a second time. Can he get the fifth stone up? Will he be the first man to do it? Little needs said then. Sven Carlson, no doubt disappointed. Five stones usually within his grasp. Raymond Spokmanis then from Latvia. As I said, three times at the Olympic Games in super heavyweight weightlifting. A real hero in Latvia. They gave him the honor of carrying the Latvian flag at the Olympic Games in Sydney. And it was a great day for all the strongmen tuning into that opening ceremony when we saw Raymonds walking in in front of his home nation. Well, four stones for Raymonds Bergmanis flying up. If he doesn't manage the fifth stone, he still will be in the lead. But can he be the first man to do it? Yes, he is. Five stones in 36.57 seconds. Great result for Raymond Spokmanis of Latvia. One man to go then in the stones, and that's Marius Pudzanowski, the dominator. He's taken the first two events so far. Two first places, a maximum of 16 points. Bergmanis sitting on 13. So for Bergmanis, he's no doubt hoping that the five stones don't fly up as quick. But this is fast. Electrifying pace he's setting here. Making no mistake, he's throwing those stones up six inches, 30 centimeters above the box. Oh, here we go. Five stones, a time 25.08 seconds. Pudzanowski takes yet another event. Yeah. <laughs> and do the home crowd love it? Bergmanis acknowledging the better man on the day. Three events down, four still to go. Marius and Raymond's the only two men to put all five stones up. The conditions were improving throughout there. The stones not as wet as they were in the beginning, but still these two men seem to be head and shoulders above the rest at the moment. Yarek Dimmick starting to make a charge. Good result for him there. He's now into fourth position. Sven Carlson in fifth. Disappointing for him. to the Viking press then. 
and the crowd know when they've got something spectacular to watch 180 kilograms from a front jerk position well that proved far too much for Bernd Kirschbaumer no repetitions for him Jarno Hams of the Netherlands he jerked up seven lifts I say jerk you have to push press you're not allowed to reflex the knees after the initial push and of course this unlike an Olympic lifting bar doesn't have the bar across your chest so really all the weight resting on your arms you're unable to hit it very well with your legs Sven Carlson all he could produce was three lifts the man who once held the log lift world record 185 kilos very disappointed with his results Sven 36 years old has had a, an amazing career in strength athletics mr. Norway back at 19 in bodybuilding European powerlifting champion in his 20s well here's Jarek Dimmick of Poland always amazing at overhead lifting 180 kilos I mean this is incredible lifting Jamie Reeves watching for the locked out arms necessary well, he's certainly gone ahead of Jarno Hams and his seven lifts. Just how far can he go? Oh, he's finished. Looks like 11 lifts for Yarek Dimmick. Amazing result there. What will Marius Pudzanowski do? Well, you'll have to wait until after the commercial break before we see what the other guys manage. <laughs> in motion fragrance from hugo boss duck it's not a duck it's a pelican ah! i have to find my son you son chico Nemo. right you've never seen fish <laughs> repaired like this <laughs> from the creators of monsters inc walt disney pictures presents a pixar animation studios film ah! finding nemo it's one for the money two for the show this is elvis the ultimate collection Step on my blue suede shoe. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. You cry all the time. Return to sender. 88 of the greatest hits from the voice the world loves most. Love me tender. Love me true. You were always on my mind. Well, since my baby left me, will I find a new place to dwell? I'm all shook up. <laughs> Nearly four hours of feel-good hits and heartfelt classics from the king of rock and roll. Everybody in old Sail Pop was dancing to the daylight rock. We can't go on together with suspicious eyes. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born in the ghetto. Can Four CDs of classic hits, plus this superb full-color booklet, backed with pictures of the king. Don't be cruel to who hard it's true. You're the devil in disguise, for yes you are. Everyone should have an Elvis collection, and this is the one to own. Order your copy now by calling the numbers shown on screen. Get the ultimate tribute to Elvis Presley with the ultimate Elvis box set. It's Elvis, the ultimate collection. Call now. What? Welcome back to Sandomierz in Poland for the Europe's Strongest Man competition of 2003. Next up in the Viking press is Sadrunas Zaviskas from Lithuania. He's chasing 11 reps by Jarek Dimmick. Zadrunas, unbelievable overhead pressing ability. former IPF silver medalist in powerlifting. The disciplines there, bench press, deadlift and squat. Now, that, the 11th repetition. No, he's put it down all over. So equal first at the moment with Yarek Dimmick. Great result 
for the man from Lithuania. He's sitting in fourth at the moment. And the man who's sitting in third is Anders Johansson from Sweden. Anders, another power lifter. Doesn't seem to have the same kind of explosive power as Zavikas there, though. Struggling with the overhead lifting. And the event, you can see, slightly uphill. The whole equipment set uphill, which makes this very, very heavy. 180 kilograms, they reckon, at the point of lifting. So two lifts for Anders Johansson. Better than Bernd Kirschbaumer managed, but Sven Carlsen doing three reps. So at the moment, in second last position, Raymond Spurgmanis. Look at this, all legs. Look at the way he smacks it out. Olympic lifting background, trying to avoid burning out his triceps. Obviously, you have to try and lock out. Worked very hard at his weightlifting on his upper body since leaving Olympic lifting. Tells me he's now got a bench press of 200 kilograms. When he first started it, all he could manage was 150. So Bergmanis greatly improved in upper body strength. Eight repetitions then. That puts him in third position at the moment. Top two men in first equals Zavikas and Dimmick. Well, Marius being called back there by the referee. Jamie Reeves just keeping him to a rhythm. Popping him up. Killing. Equaling. Zavikas there with eight repetitions by my counting. to put it down there got eight repetitions by referee Jamie Reeves so that gives him third equal so the first event that he hasn't won but still a very dominating points lead for Pudzanowski Zavikis and Dimmick sharing the top slot seven and a half points each and that's gonna mix the groupings around a little bit before we move on to the next event the farmers walk and then for Bernd Kirschbaumer, coming back from that bicep injury, this a competition just a little too early, perhaps. Going in reverse order of the last event, then Anders Johansson of Sweden up against Bernd Kirschbaumer from Austria. Anders having a little word with the referee, suggesting that the ground that he has to run upon is uneven. So the athletes now happy, off they go now, the way to this farmer's walk, unbelievable, 175 kilos in each hand, you have to deadlift 350 kilos off the ground before you can even walk with it. I, I can't believe how the sport of strongman is moving on and on. 175 kilos at the moment, however, looks a little too much for these two guys. The course, they have to take it down 25 meters. Look at Johansson. Got a great deadlift. Can his grip hold out? Oh, just a couple meters from the line. He places him down. Going back for his chalk. 75 seconds in which to complete the course. Bernd Kerschbaumer, he's barely two meters down the course at the moment, so this, a bit of a disaster for the Austrian. And as Johansson then, one meter to go. Can he get them all the way over the line? Yes, he does. Great then, one minute for Anders Johansson. One minute, point one five seconds. Or rather, one minute, 15 seconds rather. He does it just in time on the 75 seconds. Bernd Kirschbaumer, two meters, point zero six. And that will be worrying Sven Carlsen and Jarno Hams. They know they are in for an absolute battle here. This is a Herculean event. Sven 
known for having a bad grip when he has to continue for more than about 30 seconds. There, Yarno Hams. Sometimes good, sometimes not Hams. It just depends. Well, Sven setting off well. He's got such great back and leg strength, and of course, what an athlete. But he's got to finish this course in under 30 seconds, or that grip will go. Yarno Hams pulling out. He doesn't seem happy. I don't know if it's injury or whether he's just looking for some more chalk and enter stage right chalk getting thrown at him. But Sven Carlson, can he do it? Yes, he's done it. Walking a few meters further. The Viking from Norway. Angry at himself in the last, or the event before last, the Atlas Stones, where he felt the equipment failed him. Jano Ham slightly ahead of Bernd Kirschbaumer at the moment, but only just. And here we go. Are we going to have some belt throwing antics? No, Jano has taken it on the chin. Three meters 29, the final result. Remus Bergmanis then of Latvia in the next pairing with Marius Pudzanowski. Pudzanowski and Bergmanis leading the event at the moment. First and second. Marius with the headband on, sprinting off. Famous for being fantastic at Farmer's Walk, but Raymond Spragmatis going neck and neck. Absolutely raising his game here. What a shock. Oh, goodness me. The slippy conditions got the better of him. Marius, he knows he's lucky there. Oh, I hope Raymond's can finish it as he injured himself. The rain coming down so hard he can't even grip the bar anymore. What a disaster for him. The chalk turning into mush, absolutely useless in this kind of weather. Here we are down in front of the town hall now. We've left the castle location, but the rain still with us. And for Yarek Dimmick and Zadrunas Savikas, this is bad news. They were first equal in the last event, the Viking Press. You can see it behind over Zavikas' shoulder there. And to be honest, they could have done with this kind of weather coming when the Viking Press was on. An event that it would not have affected. Yarek Dimmick flying off there. Zavika stopping for a little chalk break, but it's not going to be much use in this weather. Yarek Dimmick, he's chasing the time at the moment set by Sven Carlson. 20.84. That'll put him into the lead. Sven doing it in just over 30 seconds. Pudzanowski's time there, of course, 17.6 seconds. So Dimmick actually will be in second position by just a couple of seconds. Zavikis, what a battler. He's finished this. 48.13 seconds. That's good enough for fourth. And indeed, only five men actually completing the whole course. Johansson right on the button there, 75 seconds, and that's all that was allowed for this event. The overall points then, Marius Pudzanowski just dropping two and a half points from the absolute maximum at the moment. Yarek Dimmick climbing up the stats. What a battle we have for second and third place. Now to the tire flip, 400 kilograms. And that has to be flipped six times. The crowd enjoying this show of testosterone fueled machismo. Jamie Reeves having a good giggle. But let's see what the guys can produce. Now this is downhill. Originally this event going to be uphill, but because of the damp weather, they've swapped it around. That'll make it that little bit easier. It might be 400 kilos, but of course, 
it has a fulcrum point there so lifting off the ground probably more like about 250 kilos you're pulling and Ben Kirschbaum are absolutely flying here 29 seconds for the big man from Austria and finally he's had an event that he can be proud of Jarno Hams time for him 33.02 seconds Bernd Kirschbaumer 29.00 next pairing Raymond Spurgmanis up against Anders Johansson Bergmanis, very good at this event, very fast, explosive athlete. The weather improved dramatically since the farmer's walk. Bergmanis really wants to hold on to a podium finish at the moment. It's very close, however. 29 seconds they're chasing by Bernd Kirschbaumer. And it's going to be one more flip for each of them. It's going to be very close. Johansson there doing one extra flip, finishing in a time of 29.83 seconds. And Raymond Spagmanis in a time of 31.5. So good enough to go ahead of Hams, but third position at the moment in this event for Raymond Spagmanis. Next pairing, Zdruna Saviskas on the left. Up against Sven Viking Power Carlsen from Norway on the right. Sven, world record holder in this event. Absolutely dynamite of this kind of thing, but being destroyed here by Zavikas. I can't believe it. Totally hit and miss today, Sven. Some events on fire, others not so good. Zavikas does one flip too many. 23.77 seconds by Zavikas. That's good enough for the lead. And Sven, 25.04 for second. I hope I will be second, but uh, third place in Europe, it's not too bad. Because I'm not in best shape. And, uh, and events not so good for me, uh, but, but this competition is good for me. Well, he's got a very good chance of finishing second. And I think everybody already playing second fiddle to this man, Marius Podzanowski. Two events still to go, but his lead looking pretty much insurmountable. 43 and a half points if he wins this event. And that will be enough to take the whole title without finishing all of the events. We still have the truck hold, the Hercules hold to go. So if Marius can take a first place here, he will already have won. But look at Yarek Dimmick flying along. Goodness me, Yarek not giving him any favors. The two poles going head to head. 21.35 seconds for Yarek Dimmick. That's better than Zavikas by one and a half seconds. As for Podzanowski, 24.23. That's good enough for third place. 24. 24, 23. And that puts Podzanowski then on to 43 and a half points by my reckoning. Four points, four and a half points off the absolute maximum he could have got. The wireless office for when you can't get any work done in your own. The HP NX7000 notebook with Intel Centrino mobile technology. Get more reliability from HP. Boss in motion. Fragrance from Hugo Boss. Duck! It's not a duck, it's a bell! Yes! Ah! 
I have to find my son! You son Chico? Nemo. Right. You've never seen fish <laughs> prepared like this. <laughs> From the creators of Monsters, Inc., Walt Disney Pictures presents a Pixar Animation Studios film. <laughs> Finding Nemo. Welcome back to Sandomierz in Poland. This, the Europe's Strongest Man competition of 2003, and we're down to the final event, the Hercules Hold. Jarek Dimmick winning that last event, the tire flip, and that's brought him up into podium position for the first time in this event. Second equal with Sejuna Savickas, but Marius Pudzanowski, he's comfortably in the lead. And that lead will be unbeatable now. No doubt the title going to Marius. And look at this crazy setup for a Hercules hold. First out was Jano Hams. 41.07 seconds is all he could manage. The trucks there on a downhill slope, held back by one in a harness. And you can see this is a very, very awkward position to hold a weight in, cutting into your chest with the straps. Bernd Kirschbaumer managing 31.47 seconds. So Jarno's 41, the best so far. Johansson breaking one minute, doing one minute, 2.88 seconds. Then Sven Carlsen of Norway. Starting to shake. He managed to pass Johansson's time. Doing one minute, 16 seconds. Then it was the turn of Raymond Bergmanis. And Big Ray fighting strong. Going up to a minute and a half. Amazing grip strength by the Olympic lifter from Latvia. You can see the enormous forearms that he's built up from years of weightlifting, 37 years old now. His job back in Latvia is training, physical trainer for the anti-terrorist group that looks after the president. What is he doing? Talk about showing off to the crowd. He's dropped it down to one arm. Unbelievable by Bergmanis. What a showman, what a feat of strength, and goodness me, if anyone deserves to make it onto the podium, it's Bergmanis. This is incredible. Fourth coming into this event overall. But that will be a time almost impossible to beat. Two minutes, 11. So we're down to the top three, but it's all very close on points. Savickas, Jarek Dimmick, then Pudzanowski. And second equal at the moment is Zavikas and Dimmick, both on 33 and a half points. But Manis needs to win this event to try and sneak onto the podium ahead of one of Zavikas or Dimmick. So he's surpassed a minute and a quarter. The pain really kicking in now as that truck pulls away from him. 83.58 seconds. So Zavikis shy of a minute and a half. And the bad news for Zavikis, if Dimmick and Pudzanowski go ahead of him and Bergmanis stays in the lead, then he will lose a podium finish. So let's see what Dimmick can manage. Can he go ahead of 83 seconds? If he does, he guarantees himself a podium slot. In fact, he guarantees himself second position. The silver medal, and once again, he'll be number two in Europe. So Marius Pudzanowski, his training partner, already won the title. Doesn't even need to do this event, shouting at him from the side. You can hear him encouraging him in Polish. The crowd, enormous here. Something like 5,000 people in the local market square cheering on their home favorites, Jarek Dymik. Jarek from Gdansk, the other end of Poland, but still very popular here. 
in Sandomierz. 70 seconds, he needs to go another 13 seconds. You can see his grip struggling now. It's pulling out of his hands. An almost meditational-like trance. Oh, it's curling out of his fingers. He's gone past 83. He's done it. He's managed to take the silver medal here at Europe's Strongest Man for a second time. Marvelous holding. Can he beat Bergmanis, though? Bergmanis' time over 120 seconds, and he, too, drops to one hand. The right hand is gone. It's got nothing left. The lactic acid is built up. He drops it. He's taken second place. And congratulations from all of his compatriots. Quite right, too. Dimmick really had a shocking start to the whole event. He was sixth in the first event. Then he was fifth, so he was up against it. And fifth again in the Atlas Stones. But a first place in Viking Press, and that's taking him to the silver medal. And of course, the pot of spoils that goes with it. So there's only one competitor to go then. And that is Marius Pudzanowski of Poland. Marius rock steady, almost never loses an event like this. Look at his face. Absolute picture of concentration there. Not even an ounce of pain being shown in his face. Only 26 years old, Marius, former amateur heavyweight boxing champion of Poland. So he knows all about pain before turning to strongman. What an athlete this guy is. To see him doing jumps and all kinds of sprinting exercises, you'd honestly think you were watching a world-class sprinter. Truly amazing how he can move this 135 kilo bulk. He's done enough. He chucks it down. Good enough in this event for second place, 1 minute 53 behind Bergmanis, but he is Europe's strongest man for the second time, adding yet another title to his amazing list of prizes and spoils. And here he is working the crowd now, very popular figure, and he could be good in strongman for another 10 years. Look at someone like Sven Carlson, 36, still going strong. Bergmanis then winning this event. The Hercules hold. And what a strange event it was, that 14-ton truck at a strange angle. Who knows exactly what kind of weight went through it. Bergmanis, third. He gets the bronze medal. And Latvians can be very proud of everything he did. Who knows what could have happened if he hadn't have slipped in that farmer's walk. In the overall points, he was on 38 and a half. Jarek Dimic of Poland takes the silver medal. He was on 39 and a half points. Had he not slipped in that farmer's walk, Bergmanis could have been second place. But on the day, it was all about Jarek Dimic. And it was all about Poland. Marius Podzanowski, the dominator. The number one Pole. And yes, the number one in Europe. And who would argue that in a few months' time, he will not win the World's Strongest Man title for a second time as well. Really unbelievable at Strength Athletics. And long may he reign over Europe and the world. A great, great character and a superb strongman. Well, that's all from me, Colin Bryce. I hope you enjoyed all the strength action from here in Poland. Tune in to your sport again as we bring you many more strongman competitions throughout the year. Goodbye.
A strong unibody construction means there's no weak link in our chain. 